She was having six babies. Oh my gosh, it's okay, Lucy. So today we need to unbox all of this stuff and create a nursery for Lucy, my pregnant foster dog, to have her babies in. So if you guys are excited for today's video, if you guys are excited to see how this nursery turns out, <laughs> make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, you don't want to miss this birthing video, so turn on those post notifications and let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Lucy's ready to open all of these awesome gifts that she got from her wish list. It's time that we open up everything that we got. Some of the stuff I actually purchased, so I know what's in some of the boxes and such, but for the most part, I don't know what's in most of them, so let's find out. All right, so first box. Let's see what's in this one. Okay, so I think this is, it looks like the heated blanket. Good stuff comes in. And what I mean by good stuff is the stuff that's going to keep it clean. So these are the easy, well washable loping and puppy pads. These are the round ones. So on the wish list, there was two round ones, which is awesome. And then I purchased a square one because I'm going to put the square one in the pool and then the round ones will be good on the ground. You'll see once we get the whelping area nice and taken care of. Okay, now we have this bag. Don't lose. Okay, let's see what's in this bag. Okay, so this one is some stuff that I purchased. So this is a little um, bulb syringe aspirator. So, <laughs> you don't even know what this is. So basically when the puppies are born, um, just to assist if needed, we'll use this to basically squeeze anything out of the puppy's mouth just to get any liquids out of the mouth. Nope, 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 I need that Lucy. Okay, then this is the square easy well um, washable puppy pad that I was telling you about. So now we have three of these, which is gonna be so good, and you'll see how we set those up. Oh my gosh, I think there's something else in there. Hold on, I forgot. Yes, so I bought thermometers. I bought two thermometers, because we have been, um, we have been taking her temps, and if we need to take any temps on puppies or anything like that, thermometers are good to have. All right, let's see what's in this box. All right, so this is a bio, enzymatic pet stain and odor eliminator. I didn't even know this was on the wish list, but that's great. So let's see what's in this one, I think. All right. So there is a couple more things coming, I believe, but the rest of it, like I said, should just be for birth. Um, but this is pretty much everything that we need for the nursery. Because I made sure that all that stuff was able to come quicker, because obviously we need to get her set up and situated in here before um, you know birth so that she's comfortable. And then this mat is gonna go under everything. This one is also washable. Um, it's like water. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> Lucy's just something else. Okay. So there's, it's absorbent fabric, waterproof backing, slip resistant, recycled material, and easy to clean. So let's go ahead, now that we have everything. Oh, I forgot the last thing. The indoor pool, I bought this from Target. It's time to take everything that we got and make her a nursery. So I have this little three tier thing where these baskets can come out, but I'm gonna just use this basically to hold the supplies because this is in her nursery. Because it's got the aspirator, the thermometer. I'm gonna go ahead and put the spray, the odor spray down here. And then the milk replacer. This is more like health stuff up here just to have it. And then as this goes on, I'll put more supplies in there. So this is how we're gonna start with the nursery. So I'm sitting in the whelping area. It's this little 
little metal gate thing right here that has these latches to let her in and out. Just like this, come on in, Liz. Good girl. Let me lock her back up. So we first have this mat right here. So I'm gonna put this down first. And this will be so nothing leaks out of this area. Okay, Lisa, you gotta go. You gotta go from the nursery. Bye. All right. So this is our first layer, basically, with just this little washable mat thing. Next up are our oval um, easy weld mats. These are the basic, like, machine washable puppy pads. So this is how big it is. It's pretty big. So let's go ahead and put it in the little welding area. So we've got that one. That would be good. Now the second one. This is really coming together. It's starting to get for real. Now it's time to put our pool together. So this will be the area where she actually um, gives birth in this. Okay, so we've done some rearranging. We had to put the camera down so we could figure this out. So the pool is huge, which is fine because it gives her a lot of room to be in there and not trample over puppies, so that's great. No big deal. But we don't have many panels now, but we have created a nice area for her to be able to walk out and then also be able to get away from her puppies. This is all covered down here and then these reusable puppy pads, but the only thing is, is we're missing more of these. So I just had lent these for my sister. I'm gonna see if she has any more, if not, we're gonna run out and go grab a couple more of these tonight because she needs to be in here tonight anyways. So all we need is three to go to the end of the wall and then she perfectly has like this giant square. So this area will be about six by six. So it's a lot of room for her to be able to step away from the puppies and come back in with the puppies. And then also because she's gonna be living in here because she's gonna need to tend to the puppies all the time basically. So now that we have this set up, this is pretty much how the floor plan is going to look. Now it's time to set up the actual little whelping area in there. So now this is the square one. This should fit perfectly. I think it's four by four if I did this correct. Yay! Okay, cool. So then this one will also be, this is machine washable. It's like a giant puppy pad. So this is basically gonna be the base layer. You like my little slipper? Okay, base layer down. Great. Lucy, come on in. Come on in, Lucy. Come on, Lucy. Oh, come on. Yep, perfect. So this is where you're gonna have your puppies, okay? All right, I hope you like it. See how spacious it is for her in here? She's a pretty small dog, so she'll have room in here for her. And she can come on out. Oh. So for right now, I'm just gonna put the heat thing right here because we don't have any puppies in here just yet. And I don't want that in there when we're giving birth to puppies because it's just gonna get messy. So I have all these towels. These are just old towels that we use for the dogs. So I'm gonna put these in here. These are also gonna just be layers Till we get it down to the puppy pad, um, the bottom puppy pad. We're hoping that we don't get down to that layer, but obviously if we do, we do. So we're gonna have these towels in here, and then on top of these towels, we're gonna have the disposable puppy pad so that after every puppy, we can just dispose of those puppy pads and restart again. Hi. Yes, you, you're a mama. So I'm just putting these in here so she gets just used to everything and it's nice and cozy in here for her. Look at her. It just made everything even cozier. We have to collect some more towels before the day of, but that's not a problem. Here you go, Luce. Good night. That's what I did. Good night, Lucy. Good night, Lucy. See, it's so nice in here. So this is basically what we're doing for her because we want her to be super comfortable in here. This is a safe space for her. We're creating this into a safe space. She seems like she loves it already, so she will start to sleep in here tonight, like I said, and she's gone already. So all of these blankets I'm just putting everywhere, I guess. All right, so we have all the towels in here. I still need to grab some more. I have some washing, so should be good. Put some more in here before the day comes. And last but not least is a dog bed. So we got Lucy a little dog bed, and this will be perfect when her puppies come as well. But till then, we did steal this from Penelope. Don't tell Penelope. So we got her little dog bed that she can lay in. And then also, um, before she gives birth and things like that, we will remove this for a little bit during the birth so that doesn't get ruined. But as soon as she's done giving birth to all of her puppies, the bed will come back in and her little puppies can lay on the bed. 
and then she can be right next to them. They can come off the bed or scoot off the bed, I should say, because they can't hardly walk when they're first born. And basically, last but not least, to just get this nursery set up for her to get comfortable before the babies, I'm just putting this little camera in. This is just a little pet cube one. It moves like this. But this is basically what I'll be able to watch her during the day if I'm not here or anything like that, um, leading up into the birth. So if I'm not here and I see that she's starting to get a little bit antsy and things like that, I can just rush home and everything will be here on the pet cube. So I'm just gonna put it right here on this bookshelf and just aim it down and that should be good. Perfect. All right, you guys, so this is the nursery to completion that we have for Lucy and her babies. Obviously, like I said, I gotta get some more towels and then we'll just have these little dog training pads that we'll put in there, like I said, for each puppy. Lucy, you don't get these yet, you get these the day of birth. So this is Miss Lucy. In her nursery area, we're gonna run out and grab a couple more panels so that she's all set up. And this is pretty much where she's camping out for the next, I guess, like six days until she has her puppies. All right, you guys, well, that pretty much wraps up this video of building Miss Lucy, our pregnant foster dog, a nursery. She's all set and ready to have those puppies that we will have here any day now. So if you guys like her nursery or are excited for her puppies to be born any day, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. You aren't going to want to miss that birthing video, like I said. All right, you guys, we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.